Uh, thanks. Um, I won't speak for that long because I think it'd be great if we can hear from people in the room and elsewhere about what they uh, uh, want to say. But, and if I'm defining what success looks like at the end of all of this, I'd probably say that we need something that's as inspiring as the MDGs, something that is as crunchy and has as much traction as the MDGs, and something that's prioritised but also includes critical missing issues uh, from the MDGs. And, and I think there's um, a lot of work to do if we're going to meet those success criteria in 2015. So I'd like to make a pitch to you all to remember uh, four things that uh, were in the High Level Panel Report. And I think these, each of these is tremendously important. And there's lots of good stuff in the High Level Panel Report and I'm tremendously proud of of it. What Claire didn't mention was that I've been in a post here in the UK government for a year and have been working with Homie and Claire and Neva and many others on this agenda for a while. So there's lots of great ideas in the Hallowell Panel Report, but I want to flag four things that I hope you'll all take out of this meeting and, uh, and hopefully we can work together to make sure we get into the next agenda that will help meet those success criteria. The first is that we actually have a compelling and prioritise set of goals, and that is not in the bag. Eminent academics even are arguing that well, maybe we shouldn't actually agree an agenda in 2015, but, or, or at least maybe agree some priority areas, but the goals and the targets they can follow. Well, to be honest, if we have a hiatus between the end of 2015 and some other point in the future, we'll be missing a huge opportunity and, and letting down uh, well, the poorest people in the world, which is, is what I think is most important, but wh whatever you think is most important about the next agenda, it will be a massive missed opportunity. So keep up the pressure, first of all, for an agreement on some really good goals. And if you want to refer to the high-level panel reports, then great, and I'll be right behind you. But refer to whatever goals you want, but make sure that, that we get that agreement. The second is that we have a single agenda. And um, there are still countries out there arguing that we should have a set of sustainable development goals that are over here, and we should have a set of poverty-focused goals that are over there, and that um, they're, they're essentially different things. Now, most countries in the world don't believe that, but you, it's very easy to imagine a scenario where interests mean that that becomes an increasingly popular reality. And so pushing for an integrated agenda, as the Palavel panel said, that is people-centred but planet-sensitive, uh, is, is well worth fighting for, and there is a risk that we don't get that. Thirdly, when we look at what people care about, and I think the My World survey, which Claire is um, one of the driving forces, and others in this room are, actually, then, first of all, they say, well, the most important thing is education and then they say health. And then they say honest and accountable government. And in the top um, seven issues, there are those three, there's food, there's water, and there's also um, peace and safety. You know, people really care whether they can get home from work uh, at night in one piece and whether their children can go to school without fear of abuse. And, and so I think that gives a good pointer to, to the kind of issues that are the, amongst the priorities for adding to the agenda. And that the High Level Panel came up with two goals that are built around institutions and peace and stability. And, and the key point that the panel was making was that these are really important enablers, and I don't think anyone in the world would argue that peace and stability and effective institutions are important preconditions for development, but actually making the point that they really matter to people in, in a way that so do, as health and education, having a job and having enough to eat matter to people. And, and, and um, I think that's got to be an important part of the next agenda. And then lastly, the, the panel's concept of leaving no one behind. And this, I think, is tremendously important. I think it was one of the areas, it was one of the areas that Homie was personally responsible for driving uh, very hard in the discussions we had on the report. And, and I think it really is a completely new way of looking at goals and targets. Center, central to it is the idea that Homie mentioned that in some cases, such as um, dollar a day poverty, hunger, education outcomes, child and maternal mortality, but also around violence and freedom of speech, there are global norms that everybody in the world should be entitled to. That's, that's important, and that's the first aspect. The second aspect 
is the panel's very specific pro proposal that all data on all goals and targets should be disaggregated and that no target should be considered met unless it's met by all income and social groups. And this is something that I almost use as a mantra because it keeps sort of being alluded to and sometimes it's said out loud and sometimes it's not said at all. But that concept that no target is met unless it's met, whatever your colour, whatever your background, wherever you live, whether you're a man or a woman, is actually fundamentally important and a massive paradigm shift compared with the NDGs and I hope we can secure that in the next agenda. Thank you.